Hey, long time no Africa report. <laughs> this is an Africa report. Wait, what the heck? You know, so listen, it's simple, very simple. Stuff is happening in Africa, right? Hey, first of all, Malawi got a new president, and guess what? Hey, I've always wanted to go to Malawi. I don't know what that means. I don't know how he is. You know, let's say he's going to be decent. He's a young guy, whatever, you know? Then the other thing is, what's more important, I, I usually listen to, hey, hey, no, move out the way. This dog is, hey, go. <laughs> the dog. Nala, named after I don't think he's named after the Lion King, well, whatever. Uh, Africa. Whatever. But look, look. But uh, I, I, I used to listen to this guy uh, uh, this uh, well, too. You know, there's Dr. Mumby, but I'm not really into her that, that much. She does the regular stuff, right? Uh, but there's this guy, uh, uh, Louis Spot. L-U-I, Louis Spot. I like him. I, I, I follow him a lot. Anyway, uh, he, he, he reported that there is a sister uh, from Namibia, just, just got seated in the Namibian uh, parliament or whatever have you. And she's like, absolutely, I've heard a speech, actually, actually really dynamite. They, they, he's calling her the next uh, Woody Mandela. Well, we won't get into all that right now. But it's really interesting what's happening in Africa. There's a lot of stuff happening in Africa. Uh, please pay attention. I mean, not just the COVID organics and stuff like that, but, you know, and not just uh, Nigeria kicking <laughs> kick, kick, kicking Chinese out of Nigeria, whatever it is, and because there's a lot of there's all kinds of stuff happening, but it's quite it's quite interesting. I'm 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 hopeful. Let's put it. I'm hopeful that people come to their senses. But the way things are, are put into play, you know, when you sign contracts or whatever have you, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you know. So, but we have to be hopeful. We always have to be hopeful that things are going to come out um, better than they. Then they've been forecast. Let me put it. Let, let me let me put it that way. Um, but one of the things I was worried about, not worried about, but but thinking about uh, Africa because there's still it's reports like uh, with the COVID and stuff like that. And one of the things they did say, and I'm not really, I kind of really, they, this is holding with sunlight and and sunlight and the COVID, the sunlight and the COVID is back and forth on that. And I'm not really sure what's happening with with that. But what I do know, the sunlight or not with the COVID, whether it, you know, whether the sunlight kills the COVID faster or something like that. Well, regardless, <laughs> we're still <laughs> weird. I'm not weird, but it's so interesting. United States is now almost like uh, the the no no the, the, not the pariah, but but the the thing. United States has been locked out of a lot of countries. Let's put it that way. And of course, we know United States is locked out of South Africa. We won't get into that right now, even though that's you know, where I need to be. And I don't need to be here with others. Anyway, but the point is, um, but the point really is, is, is um, that the countries are moving. You know, countries are moving. Uh, younger people are getting in charge. So they're moving, they're moving, they're jockeying, whatever have you. I don't know how they're going to deal with all these long-term, uh, how do you call it, these long-term contracts and stuff like that. Uh, what's going to happen with things just just like uh, the, the mineral, like somebody signs, some country signs away the mineral rights for, you know, for for a song and a, and, and a bird. You know, we don't know any of, any of that stuff because it's always hidden, which is one of the reasons why I really wish people would get more into, um, um, uh, I'm saying Bitcoin, but, but crypto, well, cryptocurrency, Bitcoin specifically, because of the transparent nature or, or, or because of the uh, uh, because of the, the, what we call the blockchain, you know, the public ledger, so you can see what's going on. That would solve a whole lot of problems that that, that uh, well, you know, the world seems seems to have. So this has just been a very short Africa report because I don't want. Oh, uh, what I will do? There's a link because his brother, this brother was talking about uh, is Africa really poor? I've heard this speech. Well, I've heard this before, but um, I'm let me put a, put a link to him because his his basic. Uh, premise thesis is that you know they say Africa is poor but yet and still you know we have all these minerals we um well, we have minerals and everything like that you know who, who's mining them and whatever that's a whole other thing but also remember you can just still feed ourselves uh, if you get rid of the GMOs and somehow if you you know uh, if you do like Russia and don't allow the GMOs in you know they, you know when I'm you know like Monsanto's and stuff bear Monsanto's people like that and also you know you can build your own housing so so you have the land well, you got to make sure you have the land, but you can grow food on the land. You can put your shelter, you can do shelter. You can use some of the resources of the land to actually give, give you currency or whatever have you. And, um, and only, only, only Africa can do that. You know, everybody else is sort of, well, at least uh, I, I guess, I don't know what's happened with South America. And we know India, India is India. Well, you know, so let's, let's just say, be hopeful. 
uh, let us mean uh, you and me, me being T from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. Oof. Woo. Hey, I'm still here. <laughs>